If you've driven down I-35 in South Oklahoma City lately, you have seen a beautiful new structure rising up out of the ground. But you may not know the story behind the building or the unlikely hero it honors. News 9's Kelly Ogle takes us there. Well, this is big. How it's many like, acres is it? I think the whole site is 56. It's the big, biggest Catholic church in Oklahoma. It right? is. A lot of our archdiocesan events will be there, like ordinations and some of the other yeah. events will be at the shrine. This extraordinary structure is being built to honor an ordinary man, as one family member called him. So unremarkable was he that the staff at seminary asked him to leave because he couldn't get past Latin. He eventually did make it through seminary, came back to Oklahoma, and bounced around the state from parish to parish. But that all changed when he was 28 years old and took a trip to Guatemala. That trip would put him on the road to sainthood. Stanley Rother fell in love with the people of Guatemala, specifically Santiago Aditlan, and they looked to him as their shepherd. The seminary student who couldn't pass Latin learned the regional language Zutuhil and translated the Bible to it. But it was a time of civil war there and a priest trying to empower the people with education, medicine, and farming know-how became a target on a hit list. And in 1981, three men broke into the church rectory, beat him, and shot him twice in the head. No, he's buried in Resurrection Cemetery, which is right near, it's on Northwest Expressway. His heart, though, is still in Guatemala, right? Yes. That's so fascinating. That was kind of an agreement that Oklahoma made with his people in Guatemala. He loved them so much, we just thought that was appropriate that his heart remains there, and it's enshrined in the, in the parish there. Where daily they honor Father Rothers, or Padre Apla's, extraordinary courage and commitment. I think that's why he resonated even outside of Catholics. I mean, even people, maybe people yeah, who don't have a faith at all. He's just a very Oklahoma guy. In 2017, the Pope beatified the now blessed Stanley Rother, the first American born martyr beatified. Just one step short of becoming a saint. <sighs> The shrine is being constructed to honor him. For one of the project managers on the job, himself a Catholic from Chicago, it's a great responsibility. So I've been doing construction for 25 years, and uh, I got to say that this is probably the coolest thing that I've been a part of. This fall, when the $40 million Blessed Stanley Rother Shrine prepares to open, his body will be moved again. And then we'll bring him here and place him in the altar at the shrine, and that will be his final resting place. And its location on Southeast 89th Street should cause a real revitalization of the area, including new hotels and other businesses. It's the Pilgrim Center, it'll have okay. offices, it'll Pilgrim have a, a museum, and tell the story of Blessed Stanley's life. We'll have a gift shop and a little theater to show videos about Blessed Stanley. Outside the shrine is a man-made hill, a replica of Tepeyac Hill, a holy site in Mexico City. Visitors, pilgrims, can walk a trail up to the top and view the shrine. With its lofty domed roof line, the shrine will be easily visible from I-35, a tribute to an Okarchi farm boy who died for his faith and his friends. Kelly Ogle, Oklahoma's own News 9.